Hey, I'm Randy and you're watching The Cheap Audio Man. Here at The Cheap Audio Man, we talk about high value hi-fi, home theater and headphone equipment occasionally. And today we're gonna to talk about 10 essential audiophile accessories in less than 10 minutes. So sit down, grab a cup of coffee and let's talk about some stuff that doesn't actually make the music but makes the music more enjoyable, the experience. So the list is not in order of preference or anything, but if there was a preference, it would be this thing. And the number one audiophile accessory for me during the summer, especially is the Polonis quiet fan. Super quiet. When I used to actually work for a living, I would do trainings for folks. One of the ways that I would explain signal to noise ratio was simply with a fan. And when I'm listening to my music and it gets hot here, in Tejas during the summer with the quiet fan from Polonis. This thing is dead quiet. I have two of them and I'm about ready to buy a third. Can't say enough about this fan. Comes with a remote control. Used to be, it goes on sale occasionally. I think it's $70, but trust me, it is $70 well spent. Polonis fan. The Amazon Basics Power Strip. I love this thing. There's nothing really basic about it. 12 different outlets. And when this is on, kind of glows green. There's some green LEDs around it. And I love it. Put a little Velcro on here. I take the adhesive. Actually, that should have been one of the things right here. Maybe the Velcro. Should, I have it right over there. I put half the Velcro on the bottom of a rack or the side of a rack. And then half on here. And man, this stuff is strong. I think it's 3M. Hold on. Let me grab that. I can't even pull it apart. Jeez. Okay. Ugh. This is the stuff that I use. I don't know how much weight this is ra rated for. Here, let's just do this. I'm gonna totally blow out a rotator cuff. Okay, that's not going anywhere. I just pulled this out from underneath my rack. Okay. This is the Furman. Basically, it's a fancy power strip. But what you also get with this is power conditioning. And I know that opens up a huge can of worms with controversy. This used to be about 60 bucks, 65 bucks. Now, it's about 120 bucks. But for me, personally, I'm not going to buy a $500 power conditioner. I will buy a $60 power conditioner and maybe a $120 power conditioner. But when they were 60, I just bought two of them. Why? Because I'll take the insurance. Does it make a sonic difference? I don't know. But for 60 bucks, it's actually a very solid power strip to begin with. Very well built. It's metal. I actually haven't even peeled off the, the plastic on this here. Let's do it together. So it has uh, one forward facing plug and then I believe seven rear facing plugs. One, two, three, nine plugs all together. It has a little reset button. M8X squared. I'll link it in the description. I'm unplugging everything. So this is going to be a real pain. So I hope you appreciate this video. The world's best cables. These are RCA cables. I believe these are the Canair ones. Very nice cables. The cool thing about these cables and I kind of use the same mentality as I do with the Furman power conditioner. I'll take the insurance for $20. I used to buy Amazon Basics cables. Nothing wrong with them. I still love them. They're my second favorite cables behind these. But these are actually directional cables. A little Velcro. They come in a variety of lengths. You can get the Mogami, I believe it's called, or the Canair wires. Either way, I have both of them. Again, cheap insurance. I don't know if they make a huge sonic difference or any at all, but I get these because they're nice and I haven't had one fail me yet. You can buy one foot lengths or one and a half foot lengths or two foot lengths, which keeps your cables, uh, cable management clean. I really hope you like this video because I had everything nice and tidy back there. Not so much anymore. They're Velcro straps. They're Velcro cable wrap straps. I did a video on cable management, basically kind of cleaning up the back of your stereo. 
And I use electrical tape, which incidentally, I still think is one of the best, cheapest, and fastest ways to do cable management. You can actually start with the electrical tape. Once you have it figured out, put the Velcro. Great way to do cable management. Okay, for all you vinyl aficionados out there, every self-respecting vinyl enthusiast has one of these. It's a brush, yeah. I don't know if it's anti-static, I don't know if it's anti-anything, anti-resonant brush, who knows? This was recommended to me by somebody that I trust, so this is the one I bought. I'll link this. I don't even know what the brand is. It's got a B on there. If you think this one is garbage, if you think any of these are garbage, and you have a better alternative, drop it in the comments. Let's help each other. If you're getting any value out of this video, consider subscribing if you're not subscribed and liking the video. You can always take your like back. You can always unsubscribe. Turn on the bell notifications, whistle notifications, pots and pans notifications. One of the coolest things about vinyl is, well, just how pretty it is. In essence, every time you buy a vinyl record, and people complain about the cost of vinyl now, but the cost of vinyl now is about 30 bucks for a record. Around that, I know people are gonna argue. Around 30 bucks for a record. If you take into consideration inflation, a $13 CD in 1988 costs about $30 now. So a vinyl record really isn't that expensive. But one of the things you get with vinyl, outside of just the awesomeness of the sound, is some art. There are purpose-built vinyl display shelves that I'm gonna link in the description. I'm gonna start displaying some, some of my vinyl record art. Ooh, one of my favorites, probably the most expensive on this list too, is uh, actually not too much more expensive than the uh, power conditioner. Anyway, Vulcan Stereo Rack. They are a very, Straightforward, simple, but wonderfully built stereo rack. $199 for a four shelf, and I think $250 for a five shelf. You can add on to them. You can put casters on the bottom. I love, love, love the Vulcan racks. I have tried monopress racks before. Similar design, but they're just not built as well. I have one in like, a, man, this is dusty. Actually, that's another accessory. Microfiber cloths. I use them to dust speakers, gloss speakers, you know, fingerprints and all that stuff. All right, now this one some people may make fun of me about. It's a remote caddy. That's right, we're all old at this point. But one thing I think we all agree on is it's very frustrating to go hunting for a remote control. With a remote control caddy, you can stick it in your couch, you put it wherever you want and you can drop your remotes in there and you know where they're at all the time. Some of them are magnetic, so you can use, stick it to the ferrous material, I guess. I have a lot of smaller components. If anybody uses Class D amplifiers, smaller DAX, the Weem Mini Streamer, or even I have a little power brick from Anchor over there, which is another good one. I should link that too. I use Bluetack. Rubby, rubby, get it all warm, and then shove it down. That way, it keeps my components from flying off the top of my desk. It is a great way to keep things stuck together. You can actually use it for isolation between your speaker stands and your speaker. Wide variety of uses, and it's a whole dollar to get a pack of this. You're getting 12 of these, hopefully in less than 10 minutes. If you got any value out of this video, you can Support me by using the thanks button. Little button at the bottom, it's a heart with a money sign in it. You can buy me a cup of coffee. A couple cups of coffee. Don't feel compelled to give though. All of these will be linked in the description. Those will be affiliate links, which means if you click and you buy, I get a commission, but it doesn't cost you anymore, so it's a great way to support the channel. Now these are all really good products. Actually, we got 13. Velcro is an extra one, microfiber cloth, and the anchor little power cube back there, which is cool because it has a higher amp five volt charging on top so you can charge your cell phones or anything that uses a five volt charger but it does it very quickly quick charge what was i saying oh yeah you can also sign up for patreon patreon.com slash cheap audio man every sunday night we have patreon only zooms patreon only discord group you can also sign up for amazon music or title music don't binge watch anything on netflix or hulu buy some of this stuff have some fun cool off with your quiet polonis fan